What is that scrappy little rodent on it's, your bed? He's, he, uh, we, haven't <laughs> given, we haven't been able to get rid of him for years. We just kind of live with him now. Yeah. Uh, what we do, yeah. you know. You live with your... <laughs> My cat is back here, too. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, we got, yeah, of course. Now you heard you, and now, hold on. Give me two seconds. Great. <laughs> That's all right. He can stay in. It's, I have lots of pets on the show. And my girlfriend may show up with her dog any minute, so... Uh, their pit bull may race into the may jump into the action any minute oh nice <laughs> how's life adam not too bad not too bad yeah thank you yeah busy and uh it's uh it's an all-new life up here man it's like I tell you <laughs> i mean the pictures you post on uh, instagram they look gorgeous just like you're having a great time you look happy. Yeah, I, I yeah, those that are easy. Little, I just download them off the internet. What's that? <laughs> you got a glow about you, but uh, well, you know. I get it's an there's a filter for that, and then you know I just download those photos arbitrarily off the internet. Yeah, yeah. Well, that looks like a place. In. Yeah, yeah. Stock photos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, it's just it's like it's gorgeous here. I mean, it's just unbelievable. That's really amazing. beautiful. Yeah, I'm very happy up here. You still, um, although, see, you still see Cindy Silver? Not recently, no. Not as much, no. <laughs> I guess the clock ran out. Yeah. Have it's you a, seen Nathan Silver's movies, Hugo? Any of? No. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Give me, give me some. He did uh, "Stinking Heaven" was mm. one of them. Um, yeah, that's and another the, one. Um, but his uh, Third Street with. Oh yeah, uh, I saw Lindsay. that one. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. that one. So his mom, he puts in all his movies. Nathan not all. Puts his mom, well, a lot of them. Yeah. When, when he's tried not to, it's turned out not. To, it's turned out kind of like difficult. Yeah, she's like, "Why wasn't I in the movie?" Why? But she's did great. A, but she's such a. Did a web guy. series. He did a web series called "Cutting My Mom," which uh, oh, isn't it yeah. called or "Cutting My Mother" or something like that. About that. I think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's a good piece. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll be out in LA in September. Oh, nice. What for? Right. It'll be a well. It's my birthday, oh, and nice. we have we have something planned. So I don't know how many days. I don't know. I'm not. And then I'm involved with the Woodstock Film Festival, like which is like the day after we get back. So, you know, it's uh, I'll be busy. So, I'm kind of gonna. I was asked to kind of have some some level of involvement in this year, which is really nice because it's like, you know, I don't. <laughs> It's 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 easier being a little bit of a bigger fish in a small pond in some ways, you know what I'm saying? The yeah, Film Festival I, didn't, hasn't hired me yet, but not yet, not yet. That's the, no, the key. Not gonna hold my breath. Yeah. Not holding my breath. Oh, well, I'm glad you'll be in LA. That'll be cool. Yeah. Well, it's been. I was there. You know, I saw you the last time I was there. I think I was like I was you there. Did. Yeah, we had a good time. Went to Jocelyn's uh, wine bar. Yeah. Have you been there, Hugo? I have, yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. She's still there, obviously. She's still there. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, it's, is she like run the place? I forget. She's she's one of the engines, but she's okay. uh, she's like the main cook. Who does right. A lot of right. That's right. There. Yes. One of the main. Yeah. Yes. It's good food. It's good food. I'll tell her you said that. It'll yeah, do by all by all means. I know it's one of the more controversial things I've said in a while. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So tell me about this short. Uh, I haven't watched it. I'm, I'll watch it. Um, I'm busy, so I'll watch it uh, uh, when I when I can really devote my time to it because I don't like. I watch a lot of stuff. <laughs> thank uh, you for not watching it. Yeah, thanks for not watching it. I think it's perfect. That makes the joke even yeah. like yeah. right. This is a this is a uh, component of the of the short. So I was being kind of meta in my my ironic humor there. <laughs> Yeah, this short is like a performance art of sorts. Uh, I love sending a link to people, and because the longer they wait to re to see it, the better it plays, because it plays into their guilt a little bit. Right. 
and if they don't watch it at all, it's even better. It's like it's the perfect yeah. joke, you know. Well, we've described the is it the, the the deceit. I mean, the 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 conceit rather, not the deceit. Well, and the deceit as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, so, is this kind of like a recurring thing that you guys, as filmmakers, as actors, as you know, is this something? This is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's I, hard I'm, to come. Yeah, you go ahead. You go. No, it was a, yeah. I mean, it's like it was something that's so much a thing that is specific to filmmakers. But I also think it's what's so brilliant about what Hugo coming up with his idea is that you can apply it to anything. So anytime you're not being seen mm -hmm. by somebody that you love or you care about, and then maybe not even being seen in the right way, in the way right. you want to be seen. Sure. You know. Yeah. There's it's a distinction a, there. Right. It's I do get it because I can relate as most people in the arts can relate, you know. Um, I mean, I'm uh, I now I'm on the radio. So I, you know, I don't expect anybody to, <laughs> to be tuning in, you know, it's like it's just the th and the difference is that stuff is it's not even it's once it's out there, it's gone. It's not even recorded. So it's really like totally. but I, I understand it, you know. It's really, it's called the event. Is oh, that yeah. an ironic title as well? Meant to be yeah, ironic. It's, it's a terrible title. I think uh, people. I, I tell people like they they'll like the title after they watch it. Uh, but going in, it's like the the worst title you can. Have. It's very generic in that. Very very, vague. Gener very generic vague. and vague and cold. Yeah. But after you watch it, you kind of like grow to like it. Uh, I hope so. Um, yeah, without giving anything too oh, too much away, uh, hopefully it's like the innocuous, harmless edge of of the title takes on a epic, right, emotional meaning. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. After they see it, well, we already kind of said what it was about, and it was because yeah, it's we can say it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's about two roommates. Uh, one of them wakes up the other one in the middle of the night because he's upset that he hasn't watched his short film. Right, right. His first uh, short, which is his you first know, short. Which is kind of a bigger deal than, you know, yes, it's it the is. first. It's, it's a big yeah, deal for, I mean, you know, swing. making if you can remember what it was like to make your first anything. It's that you scary, finished yeah, yeah. It, And that you finished it and now you put it out in the world, you know, it's really, it holds a, an especially large amount of weight to it, you know. Yeah, it's, 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 mm -hmm. it's very important to you, but then you realize that it's not as big of a deal to everyone around you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hey Frank, that light really is not working too well. Is there any way you can? Yeah, that that would be good. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Because the light from behind, it's uh, it's too backlit. I know. It's, yeah, yeah. There you it's go. Trying to go for natural lighting, but uh, not so. Yeah, light, yeah. But, you know I what do you, you do? What do you do? Yeah. No problem. Um, and and has this uh is the it's okay. We don't mind hearing the dog, Frank. <laughs> That's he what comes. He comes and goes. So I kind of. It, it doesn't know, matter. Yeah. Really, it's like I love the dog. I love the sounds of. You know, one thing I miss is I used to do this. You know, podcast out of New York, and oh. you know, invariably you'd hear sirens and car horns and murders and you know, <laughs> screaming um, next door. Yeah, right, screaming people on the street. Uh, and now you know it's kind of like if you hear birds chirping, it's a, it's amazing. Now mm -hmm. it's like. It's true. So it gives I don't it mind. texture, you know. Yeah. I don't mind the, yeah, I don't mind the noises. Um, yeah. So where, so how, I mean, is, have you premiered this film even yet? Have you, or are you about to? Is that the? We we went to Slamdance uh, oh, okay. in January and we've been playing a bunch of festivals. Oh, nice. Been. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we played Palm, Palm Springs. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. um, some great spots along the way and then we and played gone, um, and you went to those you went to those two i guess right we yeah, yeah. definitely and uh, slam dance you probably had to slam dance was one. was virtual uh, oh it was is it yeah. covid oh was it at the premiere and was that 2020 2021 two it, yeah it this, was this the most year recent. yeah oh, and, it, and they were they actually canceled right before or it canceled the in-person element right before sundance did the same but sundance oh. held on you know, to the last minute, but I thought it was really great that Slam Dance was like, you know what, these numbers are skyrocketing of cases. Like, let's just call it. And wow, 
Uh, but it was a bummer for been. us because to hear it with yeah. an audience then would have been really nice. Yeah. I mean, do you really do you have to go inside for anything? What's the big deal? Yeah. What could <laughs> it possibly be? What could it possibly be? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we have a screening coming up at Rooftop Films. Oh, uh, well, that's on, right. On uh, August oh, was twelfth. Eighteenth. Eighteenth. Oh, the eighteenth. Okay. Yeah. So really, what's the rush here? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. nice. Uh, oh, I'm glad it's at the. It's at the. That's really hard. Like I mean, it's Brooklyn really Commons uh, Park. Or the Brooklyn Industry Commons City. Area. Industry yeah. City. In Brooklyn. You know Brooklyn Commons. Yeah, is where it's at, and they're gonna have. A oh big wait, is that? Up. But is that downtown? Is that by the? I mean, there there is a more common is uh, Industry City down in. Um, I guess it's considered uh, Bay Ridge, but is it? Uh, and then they have the, also right off Flatbush. Um, they have a location in Metrotech. Up to look if you go to rooftop, I know they have that venue with like a map. So if you look okay. up, and we're All playing right. actually alongside a really great feature uh, oh. called Retrograde by Adrian Murray that we love, and it actually oh. played a slam dance as well. So yeah. we feel like we've kind of been like that's traveling nice. together, you know. Right. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Retrograde. It's great. Yeah. It's a perfect pairing with our film. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Yeah, well, that's what they do. I mean, you know, you don't get better than rooftop films. Uh, yeah. Dan Very Nuxle. excited. Checks yeah, Dan Nuxle. Yes. Yeah. Well, this this podcast used to be kind of partners with uh, rooftop films years ago, you know, for uh, a period of time. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I was going to say something about that. Oh, well, yeah. Well, anyway, I was going to get sidetracked. It's not, not a big deal. Uh, I've lost a lot of my mojo, Frank. I don't know. You, 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 you there's certainly <laughs> other, other pots. I moved out. Yeah. I moved out. I lost all my edge. He go, goes to Woodstock once. Werner <laughs> Herzog. The guy's gone. He's not the shark talk I want. <laughs> Werner, I don't know what Werner. happened to him. I don't know. I got a couple, I got, you know, people coming on and I'm, I'm I've just sort of now asked generic questions. Hey, generic's still important. You know, people don't yeah. know what the movie's about, so they're learning yeah. something, you know. Right. Exactly. What was the budget? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What'd you shoot on? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, this so that you this is great. Rooftop films on August 18th. We'll we'll put down every I mean, you know, people can find it, of course. And it's a very regional, I mean, everybody knows anybody you know, is going to go, is going to be able to find the spot easily enough. So that's a, yeah. you know, very good. So we're excited. I'm going to be there. Frank, unfortunately, mm -hmm. is not going to. Yeah. You're going to be, oh, you're there. representing. Mm -hmm. Are you representing. Are you going there specifically for that? You? I'll be there for four days. I have family there. So I'll, I'll you know. I'll Where did you grow up? I grew up in Portugal originally, uh, but I was in New York. For that... In mm -hmm. Portugal. And then I was in New York studying and then I moved to LA. Okay. How'd you guys meet? Doing this. Uh, doing this. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you put uh, out a... We met uh, doing a, a table read uh, in the first year of the lockdown in 2020. We, made a, we met at a Zoom table read. And, uh, and then I reached out. I, I, uh, I reached out and uh, we started, you know, we started, started thinking about ideas of, we were just point. We we don't we didn't have anything going on. So we oh like, okay, let's do something. And we That's live nice. really close by too. So we're like this is perfect. We're Fifteen just, minutes away, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Hugo, he had he had all these amazing script ideas, and we were like trying to figure out like what we were gonna make. And some of them were like more involved and involved like bigger locations. And we we're like maybe that's too much, or is it doable, or is it not? And mm -hmm. then he pitched the event, but he basically pitched the event as the pasta monologue from the event, like to me over Zoom. And I remember, I still remember, I just was laughing so hard and it was so incredible that I was like, oh, this is it. Like, we, this is the one, right? We got to make this. It's simple. It's two guys in a house in the middle of the night. Let's do it. Let's make it. Yeah. yeah. We, we just laughed so much. We started riffing immediately. So yeah, it just wasn't, yeah, that was the one that we needed and to it, do. Hugo, do you have a, an acting background or a filmmaking background in when you when you came to New York? Acting, acting mainly. Uh, this was my first time uh, co-directing and okay. writing, uh, but I've been acting my friends features for the, the last few years. How, how often do you meet someone as immersed in film and That's a passion Frank? for film than Frank Mosley? 
No, he's one of a kind. Not that <laughs> often. It's a freak. <laughs> Frank the freak. You know? Did he tell you how we met? No, actually. You don't I want did. to know. I don't <laughs> want to know. You tell me later. Um, I don't really even know how we first connected, but we were connect. We were we were online and we were messaging. At some point, we just this is at least eight. No, more than that. Ten years ago. 2011, maybe. Yeah, that was oh, the wow. banner here. Yeah. And then we just happened to be at South by Southwest, seated behind one, you know, right next to each other, and right re recognized each other, and then saw a, quite a few movies together. And that that oh, yeah. like in the same day, we were like movie buddies because we saw like Compliance, Sun Don't Shine, oh wow, like the comedy or something. And you and I were just it was like a hangout day all of a sudden. It was great. Yeah. That's and I finally got Pat Healy on the podcast, and I was thinking, oh, about, I was thinking of you a few months ago. Yeah. He was so lovely, and he remembered back then during compliance when I was, I think it was during that, or it might have been, what was the one that he did yeah. another outrageous film? Of course, not long after, he's, he's been in Cheap Thrills or something? It might have been Cheap Thrills, and uh, and we were, I was trying to get him on, and he, we were supposed to meet him in Hatton, and then he had a last minute thing, and, it, and he remembered all of that. Years later, so I have steel to, trap, you know. Yeah, really, really, yeah. it was something. So when he came on, so I, I, I'll, I'll have to get him on. I think I can get him on again with his next, almost any project now. He's so, um, he's in everything. Yeah, except you know? for the event. He's not in that. He's so, not. Yeah. He's not in the event. But he's, yeah, uh, yeah he's the best. He's when actor. you flesh it out into the feature version, you know, you can give him a little role. <laughs> He'll be the actor in the movie that the guy made. That oh, he, very good. He's, <laughs> he's the actor in the film. In the final sequence, you have like, you know, where you have made it, he's made into film and Hugo's character is now huge, you know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, he's exactly. But Jack's fallen on hard times, you know, and he yes. goes to, he, he goes to Vince to ask for some help, you know. <laughs> Actually, we, we, oh yeah. We, no, we, 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 at one point we're like, well, if this was a feature, what would it be? Because, you know, obviously it's a terrible idea, but, um, we're like maybe the feature is the making of the short, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. and we really had fun like thinking about thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, some somebody made said something like, "Man, if you had if you made a short right after it, it would have been great if you just made a short that was the film, right? Completely, and so you right. just show them always both side by side. So it's mm -hmm. like you finish watching the event, and then the next short immediately starts as like kind of a diptych." And goes right into the next thing. <laughs> you actually see this short and see like how good of a filmmaker Vince is, you know. <laughs> um, do you guys, what is the benefits of doing? I mean, you uh, like Frank, most people they make, you know, a bunch of shorts and then they move on to features. It's kind of their way of growing as, you know, as a filmmaker and getting acquainted with the whole practice of making films. And then they kind of move on to features because features get distributed, features kind of are much more you know going to be much more um more visible you know what why uh stick with shorts i mean hugo and i just we had this conversation recently but we think that you know people kind of give shorts a hard rap because people always think about shorts as launching pads only to features as like yeah. some kind of transition element but like you know the, there are amazing short stories in literature that are just great short stories and they wouldn't work as a feature. Never. They worked as that. Compact. So they make store they make stories. I, it's hard to believe that. Yeah, versions. sometimes they, they write stories that are only seven, 10 pages. Figure. It's crazy. Huh. I know. I know. Who I knew? Know. I'll give you some, I'll give you a list later. <laughs> <Check it laughs> yeah. out. But, but uh, I mean, I think that was the thing is one, they're also more manageable, obviously, just to make, but it's also great ways to experiment with things that you haven't done before. And like the beautiful thing with this and Hugo is like I I never really done any directing with comedy you mm -hmm. know hugo and i never worked before so it was all these like new and exciting things getting to work together is like a new small package mm -hmm. thing you know? right well that's a good point too it gives you a real opportunity to, to try right to try different things that you're maybe you're out of your comfort zone and not have to do that in an expensive where there's well, a lot more yeah, on the line time, where you're time consuming pizza. Right. For, for me, but for me, it was like actually, I you know, I jumped straight into features. I was acting in features, but you know, I'm really proud of those features and my work in them. But um, you know, it's hard for independent films now, like small independent films, if they don't play like the big festivals, it's like it's hard for them to find any audience and stuff like that. And um, 
So those films have been like struggling to find an audience. And uh, someone told me like, actually told me like, just make short films because you know, it's easier to convince a stranger to watch a 10 minute short than like uh, a mightily successful indie that no one has heard of. Sure. You know what right. I mean? Good uh, point, yeah. So in my, so that was kind of like my, I was like, that was really what got me. I was like, okay, I'll just make a few shorts. Uh, <laughs> th those are, those will be like easier to, uh, <laughs> to put out there and actually have people watch them, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's true with that, like getting people to watch anything. I mean, I even, I remember I cut a acting reel last year, a couple of years ago, it was like one minute. And when you look at the views on it, it's like some people watch like, five seconds 20 seconds like to get anybody really? to watch any you know it could just be the work that they're looking at but they're like, <laughs> like I'm out. but like really it's when i think friend. about it yeah you know, they're like this guy but they're like it's it was killing to me that i was like you can't even watch a minute one minute is too much for some people it's nuts uh it is right. but right. and so to hugo's point is like yeah absolutely yeah. it's like yeah have a short show what you can do in 11 minutes that you know we have well, I just, by the way, while um, I, I was listening, of course, because, you know, I, I, that's what I do. But I did also happen to come across the, the location for this, the Brooklyn, uh, or excuse me, the Rooftop Film screening, along with, as you said, Retrograde, mm -hmm. uh, will be at the Brooklyn Commons Park. Indeed, it is at Metro Tech Center um, in downtown Brooklyn, which is only, by the way, a couple of blocks from where Film Wax Radio had its birth. Oh, nice. It was right next door at the uh, what was called the um, um, what was it called? Is it the center, the media center? I or uh... no, 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 no. Okay, uh, this was that's that's in Dumbo, but the, okay. you're thinking that's of New York media, the New York media, York media, media center. center. This is no, actually, what what stands there now is the uh, the there's a mall, and on the top floor of the mall is um. The movie theater. What am I trying to say? Uh, the, uh, the screen or the comp the screen for the no 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 I'm uh no no where uh, I'm just I'm drawing a blank for a second, but there's a the point is is that, that this the the um it's it's very close to the Manhattan Bridge, downtown mm -hmm. Brooklyn, that area, and it it was there was an outdoor spot there once and the, when this I started the show it was done in this, you know, uh in this uh beer garden slash you know outdoor marketplace that's where it started because there was a studio oh, wow. started with the and film wax radio had its birth there and now it's just like a block from where you guys are doing this screening oh nice so i have a lot of uh positive memories that's from that great spot. you'll have a nice time it's a nice location nice. yeah everybody should come out and and uh ask hugo lots of questions when they when <laughs> that's you, right. see you can't call in or anything frank what's the matter no, I can't. Just can't make it. Can't <laughs> timing. I understand. Yeah. Have you done anything that's been at rooftop? You must have. I think I was in some shorts that have played there. I know. I know Calvin's stuff has played there before. Calvin has, Reader, yeah. Calvin Reader's shorts that I was in. Oh. The procedure and uh, the bulb. Um, maybe some other stuff. Maybe some mm -hmm. stuff. Thunder right. Road might have played there. I think. Oh, very likely. Yeah. yeah but but yeah never never is like being at the helm of anything with somebody like uh so this was like a, a bucket list for us for sure to like right. have one of our own films like play there it was really awesome that's great congratulations thanks <laughs> yeah. appreciate it real it's too bad you can't be there but you know i'll be there in spirit you know i know you will <laughs> yeah. hopefully i'll see some pics you know see uh see our mugs up on the big screen <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, for sure. That's nice. Uh, again, it's going to be on August 8th. 18th. 18th. I'm sorry. Let's rephrase it. Again, it's going to be August 18th. Yeah. Thank you for the correction. Uh, and people can go to rooftopfilms.com to uh, get the details. Mm -hmm. Very easy to find. Mm -hmm. Paired with Retrograde by Adrian Come say hi. Murray. Yeah. Murray. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful film. Really good. Yeah. Oh, good. I got to check it out. Yeah, I think you'll yeah. like it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, you, you guys are always welcome on here. Um, I'm just getting over this COVID thing. 
So oh, yeah. I'm still I totally struggling. forgot that you, I totally forgot that you'd have, when did you get that? I just got it like a last, like, um, you know, part of it is the memory thing. It's like, right. you can see it. It's already Fog. affected me. Uh, like, yeah. So not this past weekend, but the weekend before I got it. Oh, wow. Uh, the good thing was that the timing, it just all, at least the timing wasn't so bad. And I actually got to spend like my girlfriend had been away for a couple of weeks. And then she uh, was then almost the third week because the airline she was supposed to, you know, return on had gone on strike. So she ended up being really oh. delayed. So we had been really apart for weeks and, and then we were ended up in quarantine together for a solid week or more. So it kind of wasn't so bad. And we, you know, just spent a lot of, we had a lot of, we, I introduced her to a bunch of movies. Yeah. And uh, another dog here. Hi. Oh, hey, we got animals everywhere. Hi. What's yeah. your name? So, I have no idea. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just wandered in. Tucker. It's Tucker. And uh, hello. So we were quarantined together, so and we we get along just fine, even as a result of the week. So it was yeah. nice. And then, oh yeah, I got to introduce her to these films, Frank um, and uh, Hugo too. But I mean, Frank knows that, you know, um, that was a big deal to kind of introduce her to. Some, we I introduced oh, yeah, the Clute and the conversation, oh, nice. all these kind of paranoid. Actually, I I gifted uh, Frank Clute. Uh, you did after did. we wrapped the event. He did because because uh, Gordon Willis, oh the yeah, DP was a big influence right. on the lighting of the event. Oh like, wow, those are, like that's... reference photos. So then Hugo was surprised. Really, me and he gave yeah. me that's, the, that's amazing. the Blu-ray, which is really sweet. Kim. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's a it's. I've seen it several times, and I it was as though I watched it the first time. I didn't, that's a great you know. Film. Yeah, mm -hmm. part of his COVID. You know, it just I've seen this movie before. Yeah. <laughs> no, What's a movie? I've seen a movie. Yeah, right, exactly. And she has a, a screen and a project. She has a screen oh, and a projector, nice. so we yeah, oh, we're nice. able to enjoy that. You know, that's next level, Adam. When you when you get a screen and a projector, that's that's what I'm working toward over here. The projector. Right. Well, I got a projector here, but I never I've never used it. This apartment's like a shoebox. I just don't have the, you know, where I live here. Anyway, same same here. Are you feeling better now? Like yeah, thank you for gone? asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm all better. I get tired though and so mm -hmm. and then there's like like a little bit of a memory thing sometimes like i just completely i just can't you know like grab whatever you know name or Got word it. i'm looking for yeah which is frustrating but um what can you do what can you well i appreciate anyway, you just... having time yeah. in the chat oh yeah well yeah. it was a pleasure you know it's in any time i mean you know obviously any time at all we'll look forward to hearing all about how the screening goes hugo you'll do a post uh more, you, yeah. with us hopefully if we can yeah. find out how rooftop went sans mm -hmm. mosley sans mm -hmm. you know yes i'm looking Jartop. forward to it if anyone's listening come say hi yeah uh it's a great double feature mm -hmm. enjoy have a great yeah. time Frank, I'll see you maybe in September. Yeah, that would be great. Let us know when you're in LA. I will. All right. Thanks All right, a lot, Adam. Nice meeting you, Adam. Same here. Have yeah, a nice day. Take evening. care.